What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at the moon. This time, it's through JAXA, or Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and it's a photo from the Kogaya Lunar Orbiter. Now, what's interesting about this is not so much the photo until it gets into Photoshop. Just weird. And it's going to leave no doubt, of course, if manipulating sensor in their photos as well, right? And even in this day and age, when you see this photo, you got to go, what gives? Why does this look like trash? Let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right, here's a photo right here. Somebody had uploaded to Flickr, and it says, Home, as seen recently by the Kogaya Lunar Orbiter. And, of course, the credit goes to JAXA slash NHK, right? And it was uploaded on October 12, 2008. So this goes back a little bit, right? On the right-hand side, as always, folks, you can download it here. It's The original is 700 by 700. It's not very big at all. Right? All right, so this is what I found, and I thought this is really weird, right? So all we have to do is zoom in. I don't even know if you guys can see this yet. But right here, there's actually a band where they doctored just over the lunar surface. And if we look closer, I'm going to put it right in the middle of the photo, smack dab. You can see there's a line going right across here. Okay? The lunar surface has been completely taken out in the middle of this crater. Why in this day and age, with this high technology, it looks this piss poor? It's been censored. Let's get into Photoshop. Let me show you this. Now, this is what's funny. Do you notice anything about this photo yet? Let us zoom in, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, right? Okay. What is that? See that? Folks, they literally are taking the sky right out of this. Now, check this out. Do you see it yet? Look at the band, Dr. Band, just over the lunar surface. Let me help you with that. All I had to do was do an equalization on this, and this is what I found. Something tells me not only is there something protruding over the lunar surface, there's probably things between the moon and Earth that they don't want us to see. Because obviously you're going to have orbiters and maybe something else is going on around our moon, right? So that's completely all blocked out. Notice on the bottom, we have different colors, okay? That's telling me, and I've said this before, density of censoring. So as I'm going along, so let me black and white this, see what else we can find. Oh, well, look at this line now. We can see this pretty darn well now of the centering just over the surface. And you can see this. All right, let's keep going with it. Made a little darker, see if you can find anything. And folks, you can see this stuff all inside here that there are things starting to appear. So. I didn't notice it at first, but at the bottom, we're starting to see things pop out. But let me just backtrack. I want to show you guys something. I put this through different raw parts of the photo. We went black plate, magenta, and cyan, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the black plate right here in the center of this crater at the top. You can see a fine line, actually, of centering, right? See that right there? Right there. There's things popping out of this. Okay. Let's hit the magenta plate. Okay. Again, you can see the areas that have been censored out, both in the bottom and in the middle of this crater. Okay. Let's go to cyan plate. And again, you can still see that. Notice the blockiness at the very bottom here. Okay. As well as this straight line again, going straight across that they're blocking things out of here. Now let's get back into the steps and we're gonna do the final step right here. Now there's some interesting things in here if we go to the bottom. I didn't notice these at first until I started to get into this more and more, right? Let me show you what I'm talking about because this is cool. I'm gonna go from left to right. You have smaller objects in here. Just have a look around, folks. I don't even have to circle everything. You can see these things kind of laying on what looks like platforms or layering of the lunar surface, right? You can see it's like higher and lower areas, and you can see these things. Just look around. Most of it you're going to see, and it's going to be below this point, okay? 
small objects inside here, this on the bottom. Not sure what to make of this thing. You can see at the very tip of this thing, it's kind of whitish, and then as it goes back, it has that weird color to it. Like, it's like they just try to get rid of it with another texture or color. This piece right here. We have different other pieces in here, folks, that's just really, really bizarre. Have a close look if you've got your magnifier. Got other things up here just barely showing. But also have a look in the docker areas right inside here. I'm going to circle the whole area. You can pause it right here if you like. And have a look at the docker areas as well as the lighter pieces. Do this. And again, I'm going to go from left to right. I'm going to go from this area here. Right there. Down. Let's have a look. I'm going to stop it. You can pause it where you like. And just have a look at the little pieces, folks. Now, question is, is this nothing more than lunar surface features, or is it something else? Were we able to break through and find some of these little structures next to this crater? I believe yes, although it is a very piss-poor photo, not because... It's the way the camera takes the photo. It's the way they censored it out, okay? And that's what's aggravating. I'll be truthful with you guys. They're no better than NASA or any other space agency when it comes to censoring photos. They're even worse, right? There's something up here I find interesting, too. you got these areas that look like this here, okay? Like, they're almost like they're openings. Right? When you look at the two of them, and then you see what looks like a body of something right here. Let me show you. When you look at it right here, it's got this, again, this piece right here going around. But then you see what looks like a body of something. It just looks really weird. Now you can see right here, it almost looks like it's almost triangular. If you look at the white underneath the centering, it almost looks like triangular area. Okay, is it 50-50 for me? Notice other things up here. You're only seeing little bits and pieces here, folks. Little bits and pieces. Right? Just weird little objects, and something tells me they're not that little. See that? Again, look at the centering in this, folks. Oh, my God. It's crazy just how much centering is here. All them colors is centering. It's the amount of or the density of the centering. If we go back here, look at the difference between this area right here. You can see it. See that? Look at the difference in this. The whole middle where I showed you right here. Look at all the multicolors inside here on the floor of this crater. What's going on here? You can see it. The manipulation and centering is unreal. Let me just back out and show you this. And again, you can see right there at the crater wall or rim, you can see where they blocked this out. From that point up, you can see it's got this other band, like I said earlier, right here, of some kind of marker they just went over and just painted it right out. And then, of course, you've got all oh, the sky. They completely blotched that out, too. And you can see that. It's evident just by looking at the photo right here. I, this is untouched. Didn't do a thing to it. And this is what I got. And you can still see that band right here. And it starts to go up. I don't know, folks. We can tell without a doubt that they are centering their photos. It's as simple as that. Because when you look at this, you can see things still underneath the manipulation. To me... This tells me they weren't just looking at just random areas, or they were looking at random areas, and they just wanted to see what was on the moon. What are we looking at here, folks, at the very bottom of this photo? What are we seeing here? I'm going to put it right about here. 
Because this to me, from here down, or at least in this area, I should say, you can look at the smallest little pieces inside this area and just study the shapes. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. And there you go, folks. Folks, like I said, when I see this, complete centered out, worse than what NASA does, piss poor job as far as I'm concerned, it's frustrating. You think, oh, once Japan gets up there, it's going to be great. They're going to look great. China gets up there, they're going to send their rovers up there, which they have already, we know that. Nope, sorry, folks, we can't give you any more photos, but we're going to let the lunar rover uh, do more scientific research, and we're just not going to tell the public, okay? They're up there looking at something that's of great importance, and you and I are not part of that. Uh, all we get is these piss-poor photos, and we have to sift through them to see what we can find. If those objects are nothing more than just a lunar surface, that's fine, too. The idea was to give you guys an idea just how badly or how much that they are censoring these photos. And there's proof right there. But for me, in my eyes, I see what looks like structures. I think we were still able to bring out these structures a little bit at the very bottom of that photo. As always, folks, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments down below. And don't forget to like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And folks, at this point, it looks like we are a go for Friday evening's hangout. And that's at 4 p.m. Eastern time, as always. I will let you guys know in the community post whether we are definitely going to have it or we're not. So stay tuned. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.